TGIF everybody, welcome back to another Let's Quest. We're here yet again breaking down the biggest news surrounding the Oculus Quest standalone headset. If you've been keeping up with VR on social media this week, you may have seen a few stories about players playing Steam VR games on their Oculus Quest without the need of a beefy gaming PC. Black magic shenanigans, right? Wrong. Using the right combination of streaming software, you can play your favorite Steam VR games on your Oculus Quest using a crappy laptop, standard tablet device, even your smartphone. We're gonna explain how right now. First, pick up a copy of Virtual Desktop for the Oculus Quest, currently available at $13.99. Next, you'll want to sideload the Steam VR version of your software onto the Quest. This allows you to properly run VR games from Steam on your headset. For this, we highly recommend using SideQuest. It's a free app that makes sideloading content onto the Quest a simple drag and drop process. After that, you'll want to sign up with a service called Shadow. This subscription-based streaming service actually sets up your own personal gaming PC you can access remotely via an Ethernet or 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection, which you can then use to stream games directly to a device of your choosing. Once you're all set up with Shadow, simply download the virtual desktop PC client to your new PC and select the option that allows for cloud computing. From there, it's just a matter of downloading Steam, signing in, and pairing virtual desktop to your PC and headset. From there, you should have full access to your Steam VR library, allowing you to stream PC VR content onto your standalone headset without the need of an expensive gaming PC. There's still some noticeable screen tearing here and there, and you may notice some brief moments of lag once in a blue moon, but overall, Shadow running on virtual desktop has no business working as well as it currently does. So there you have it, PC VR on the Oculus Quest minus the expensive gaming PC. And that wraps it up for this week, but for everything Oculus Quest, be sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube, and for everything VR and AR, make sure you're stopping by VRScout.com. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. We will see you on the next Quest.